light. And he chose darkness. He knew love and chose lovelessness. Man was given glory and he chose dishonor. He had certainty and chose blindness. Man was given rest and he chose hunger and wandering and longing. Man made a choice and his choice was brokenness. But let every offense be silenced in wonder and awe and let every creature taste the majesty of this one thought that Jesus Christ chose the cross. He stepped in and although he had every right to renounce it, he placed on himself every lawless act, every single iniquity and by the agony and torture, we are healed. The cross is a call for every man to follow and to die. If anyone would chase after him, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow. Deny himself, put to death self, to rip out everything that has robbed us of our meaning, of our joy, and of our savior. To turn from our self-love our overpromising passions to live in a manner worthy of Calvary. See, the cross wasn't a criminal's death. It was a victor's chariot through which we can now follow Christ in trampling over death. But it starts in our heart. It starts with searching ourselves, putting an end to our miserable ways so that on the day we're face to face with the great king, he will see that we chose the cross.